Hey, what's up guys? John from Linkswell here, and it has been a hot minute since I got a chance to make a video. We've been building an F-150, we've been testing new products, and we've been chasing down some firmware issues. But here we are, making a video, and guess what? This video is for those of you who have been struggling with your GPS not locking on. We believe we got it figured out. We had to change uh, our GPS chip inside the Gen 5, and we believe there's just one little bit of firmware issue that they weren't communicating right. So we think we got it figured out. So that's why I'm making this video, so you guys can know how to do the update. It is a two-step update. First step is going to be running the OTA update, and the second update, you're going to need a computer and a USB, and that's all it's super easy, uh, but I did want to run through it real quick with you guys how to do it so you can see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to screen share my radio, and I'm going to screen share my computer. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have your radio connected to Wi-Fi, um, not the in-vehicle Wi-Fi. Most in-vehicle Wi-Fis will not let you connect to our server, so you're going to want to use some kind of hotspot or even your, your home Wi-Fi, go to Starbucks, jump on a Starbucks Wi-Fi, whatever it is. Uh, but you wanna get your radio connected to Wi-Fi and you wanna make sure you have a computer and a USB so that you can download the other file that you need and be able to plug that into the radio. So radio to Wi-Fi, computer with a USB, and then we are going to rock and roll. Cool, sweet, right on, perfect. So I've got our radio already powered on and I have it to net tethered to Wi-Fi. If you don't know how to do that yet, uh, we do have some videos that'll walk you through. It's super easy to get the connected to Wi-Fi, but again, for the length of time I wanna make this video, I just don't wanna do it. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure you connect it to Wi-Fi, go into settings, you're gonna go to system, and then down there at the bottom, it should say upgrade, tap upgrade. Now what's gonna happen here, down there on the bottom, you're gonna get a confirmation that the radio is actually connecting to the server. So if you have one that says config file cannot be found or cannot connect the server, then you need to change your Wi-Fi source or maybe check your clock. Sometimes if the clock is set wrong from the internet, it won't connect, but you wanna try a different Wi-Fi source so that you get it right there where it says server success, server success. Once you're there, you're gonna go ahead and hit APP. It's gonna check for the APP update. It should say, hey, this is your version. Hey, here's a new version. Down at the bottom says new version found. Would you like to hit upgrade? You're gonna hit okay, and then it's gonna start downloading. Now, how fast this downloads is gonna depend on two things. One, your actual internet, how fast is your internet, and two, how close are you connected, how well are you connected uh, for that data to transfer. Could take five minutes, could take 10 minutes, Again, gonna vary depending on your setup. So we're gonna go ahead and let this run. You should get a percentage up there. You can watch the update as it goes. Once the update pops up, it's gonna give you an alert that says, hey, there's a new file. Do you wanna hit update? You're gonna hit okay. And then it's gonna go through its whole process. It'll reboot, it's gonna do its thing. So while ours is downloading, I'm gonna jump over here to my computer real quick so you can see what to do on the second part of the update. So in the description of this video, there is going to be a Dropbox link. That Dropbox link is gonna tend you to this right here. So you should see something similar to what you see here on my right hand side of my screen, where it says bin files can't currently be previewed. Um, do you wanna hit, you, you'll be able to like few options, but we're just gonna go ahead and hit download. And so it doesn't matter if you're a Mac or a PC, should download it, go into your file manager, which is here on my left-hand side. So uh, just a note, so you can see right here, the title is HDBD underscore, firmware.bin and what that is, uh, that is the name of the file. So now if you accidentally say hit click it two times, say you click it two times and download it twice, it may create like a bracket and a number that will not let the update run. So it literally has to be exactly what you see right here uh, in this name. If it's named anything else, if it's any kind of file, it will not work. So make sure it's that. So you're gonna go ahead and you are going to get it downloaded and then in your computer, go to your file manager, plug in your USB. So my USB is this untitled and it's gonna be as literal, as easy as taking this bin file and dropping it into our USB. And then from our USB, you can see it's there. That's all you gotta do guys, as far as moving it there. So click that link, select download, go into your downloads on your file manager and then drag it to your USB. Now notice there's no folders and there's another, nothing else on the USB. Now you can run it sometimes with other things on there, just best practice really to not do it. Make sure you have a USB 2.0, nothing too big, because sometimes any smaller files will get lost. But you're gonna go ahead, copy that to the USB. There it is, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to eject our USB, and now we're gonna head back out to the radio, and I'm pretty sure the radio is at the point now where it is ready to run the update, and there it is, bing, bang, boom, it is. So, you can see the notification right there. It says, uh, are you ready to upgrade? We're gonna say, yes, we want it to upgrade. We're gonna hit okay, and then it is going to start running its update, and then I will be right back with you once it's updated, we'll talk 
about plugging this in. So give me just a second. All right, guys, we are back. We are updated. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to grab that USB and you're going to want to go out to that radio again. Well, I'm assuming you probably hung out with the radio while it was updating, uh, but you're going to plug into the USB. Now, let me let me just kind of set up a little bit here. So there is a phone link USB. Now you can run updates to that one. Sometimes it doesn't like it because there's extra circuits inside the board there to be able to do the handshake between phones. So preferably not the phone link one. Um, if you can use that USB 3.1, one, that's perfect. Uh, even sometimes the factory ones cause a little bit of hiccup. So if you notice that the uh, when you plug this in, it doesn't do what you need to. You may need to try a different USB. Just gonna put that out there. Uh, so what you're gonna do, you should see the home screen here. So we're gonna take our USB, we're gonna plug it in. And then once plugging it in, once the radio sees the USB drive, it should pop up right there with that notification it says the GPS module will be updated and the device will be restarted within three minutes. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna run its update. So I'm gonna talk for a quick second here and then I'm probably gonna break again just so I don't waste your time. And another alert's gonna pop up and it's gonna say update ready, tap to restart and we're gonna do that. So uh, let that run real quick, um, hang with me. I'm not gonna sing or dance or nothing uh, cause we're probably just gonna clip away. So let's see when that happens. Cool, right, right on, I'll be right back. All right, guys, cool. So you should see it right there. It says the GPS module upgrade successful. Click here to reboot. Click on that box. It's going to reboot, and then your GPS should be working. Sweet. Okay, guys, here's how this ends. So I'm going to need you to let me know if you're in our Facebook groups. This page, this video will be in our Facebook. Please let me know if this update works for you. Um, we do have a couple reports where moving the... Uh, antenna itself out from underneath plastic helps a lot. So even if with this, it still seems a little spotty, we might wanna try moving around the antenna. For whatever reason, this new GPS chip that we're having to use on these Gen 5s don't like being under plastic, um, but not all of them are that way. So do this update. Let me know, please let me know that this worked or it didn't work because we don't want to leave you guys hanging. We genuinely want to get you guys fixed up. So if it didn't work, let us know so we can figure out what else is going on. But this is fixed, the ones that we've done so far. But that's how you do it. Two steps, APP over the air. Make sure you click that link. Go ahead and get this other update, plug it in the USB. Simple as that. Hope that helps. Hope it works. We'll see you guys.